so welcome to my second episode of Hey, my interactive fun little variety show. So I have a fun little craft that we're going to do here today, but it's not the kind of craft you, you're thinking of. It's actually kind of more like cooking, but I wouldn't really call it cooking either because it's not really the kind of cooking you think it is. All this stuff right here we're going to use to create a bento. Now I'm sure people who actually prepare these bento boxes kind of come up with a little bit more of a creative, colorful theme. But I've kind of just like rummaged through my fridge and grabbed a bunch of items that would be yummy for memento. And here we have our final product, my master bento cooking skills. Mm -hmm. Here we have the top of my bento, which is the snack portion. As you can see, we have some lovely fruit, some strawberries, some grapes back here, some yogurt. There's some yummy vanilla yogurt. Then it closes up like that so you don't spill it anywhere. Brilliant, brilliant. And then we have some lovely tuna right there. I don't really know why the tuna is there. It was kind of just left over in my fridge. And I was like, hey, tuna, tuna, why not? Why not? And then we have this, which is just basically two pieces of bread with jam in the middle. And then I cut a little star. Um, it's kind of getting warped now, but uh, yeah, and those are, that's the shape of the cat. Oh, so cute! So cute! Moving on now to the main course and dessert part of my bento. It is actually a rice in the shape of a star, but it didn't really stick together that well, because apparently I fail at making rice stars. And then I have little carrots. Carrots all around, because they're cute. And um, then I have some, uh oh, carrots falling. Carrots falling. And we have some salmon. Good old healthy salmon gets your omega-3s going. Cute little soy sauce container. I thought it was adorable. And then of course you cannot forget... Cat. Not for you! Cat is in my bed! No! Don't eat my bed to kitty! Continuing on. So on my lovely pink rabbit tin foil, I have this beautiful chocolate heart. Chocolate heart. So yeah, I think it's I think it's a pretty good first attempt at making some bentos. It's it's not too um, Japanese standard because they're crazy and they can do ridiculously good bentos. But it's good. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's it's edible. It's very edible. And that's what counts, right? Yeah. So here's your daily do. I want to see your guys' bentos. You know, they don't have to be as elaborate as mine. Or they could be more elaborate if you really want. So just look around your kitchen, find whatever you have, put it together in some sort of creative, edible-ish, doesn't really have to be edible. Take a photo of it and then put it on my daily booth trend and we'll see what you guys come up with. So last week I asked you guys to take a photo of yourself doing a very sneaky pose. Oh, you, said, you could also say very ninja-esque. I did very ninja-esque. Uh, let's take a look at what you guys came up with. So now that I have my lunch all packed and ready to go, let's give away some postcards. So last week I asked you guys to finish the phrase, I'm so excited about this show, I just... Here's last week's winner. Now this week, to go along with the theme of very, very cute, because I think the bentos are ridiculously cute, I have this really, really cute postcard to give you guys. Ah, uh, Charm Paradise! It was for when I visited the Chengdu Panda Reserve. So to win this postcard, all I gotta do is leave a comment below finishing this phrase. If I was a panda... Dot, 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 dot. Now it could be as long or as short as you want it to be, but I'm looking for a very fun, very creative... Cat. Tiger Lily! Alright, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next week. Bye!